What's going on, party people? Austin here, better wise known as Dr. Welds, certified pipe welder, welding educator, CWI, host for well.com. I'm in my shop today playing a little bit on our weld app, answering questions, checking out, posting pictures on that platform. Be sure to go download that weld app today, get in contact with me. I want to help build a little bit of relationship with you, with me, tell you a little bit about myself. I've been a welder for the past 14 years, pressure vessels, pipeline. I did a bit of the robotics on the pipeline, as well as new construction, pr production fab work, rolling out pipe spools all day, all the way to climbing up to the top of power plants and making welds in the gnarliest of positions. So that's a little bit about myself. I got my CWI a few years ago to help kind of educate myself and, 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 and go into that direction. And one of the hardest things that I found in this industry is evolving to the technology that's changing. Welding machines are, are changing. Uh, welding torches are changing. Technology is changing to help make welders' lives easier. It's not about taking jobs. It's about creating new tools for welders to get used to. So one thing that I've, I've found that I love about my job is the constant evolution that goes into it. I went from one part of the industry to the other, not because I had to, but because I wanted to. As a welder, I believe it's something that you need to do to help yourself grow as an individual and learn something new, adapt to this ever-changing industry. It's not about getting stuck in the old ways and sticking with one process. It's learning all of them, how to fit, how to fabricate, how to weld this, how to weld that, how to weld it overhead, underhead, over, all, all the different directions, right? And one thing that's gonna help us figure that out is these robots. Yeah, that's right. I said robots. Robots are going to be a tool of the future. And it's not something that we're going to get away from. It's something that we got to get used to. So I've got a robot in my shop. I've got a plasma table, CNC stuff. It's something that I had to learn, had to adapt uh, to help my job be easier. Right. So that's something that we're going to be learning as we fly over to Atlanta. We've got a cool company called Avagi. 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 Avagi, they're a really sweet company. They have developed software for welders so that it can make our lives easier. One thing that was tough as a, as a welder was picking up a robotic pendant, a teach pendant, and trying to tell the robot how to do my job, right? What they have come up with is a new software, new programming to help relate to the welder instead of to the robot. So let's jump on a plane, let's fly to Atlanta, and let's see what this robot from Avagi has has got going on over there. Let's go. Good morning, Dimitri. How are you? Good morning, Austin. I'm fine. How are you today? Doing great. Wonderful great. place here, Fab great. Tech. Absolutely. We got a lot of cool stuff behind us, don't we? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you just need basic common welding knowledge. Absolutely. That's it. Yes. It's a tool, right? Yes, Robots, it's a tool. They're, they're not yeah. replacing us, right? Yes, absolutely. You can't replace the welder. You got to have us. Because We're here. Actually, you know, robots cannot do anything without a welder knowledge. Yeah. Right. I think that this is a great opportunity to help that welder shortage that we have yeah. in the industry. This is a great product to help kind of show these 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 up and comers that there's just way more to it than just yeah absolutely just so, pulling a trigger we can actually set up a robot yeah. to our basic knowledge and use yeah. it as a tool 
And it, it really is about educating the end user about what's out there and what you can actually do with the welding process. Yeah, absolutely. So addressing the welder shortage, we can try to do that in different ways. We can try to involve more people in the industry. That's for sure what we need to do. But there is another way to make people who are already in the industry, to make them much more effective with the new technologies. So let me tell you a bit about my experience with these robots. Yeah, sure. I almost have none, right? Yeah. I did a little bit back in school, way long ago, and it was that yeah. big old pendant. It was hard. It took me almost hours, days to get, get one yeah. welder program. So I'm really excited to use your product yeah. and test it out. So let's, let's see what you got back here. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's do it. This is a 3D scanner on this robot. 3D scanner, yeah. Wow, that's... It makes it possible not to use the teach pendant and programming anymore that we were struggling with, as you mentioned. Right. You can... this. So this being a 3D scanner, I can, yes. I can put this here. Yeah, yeah. I can put it over here. Yeah. And then it'll come in and scan it. What if I... What if I put it this way? Yeah, that's would be... No problem, right? Yeah. If you are going to weld it by hand, you just play this randomly, yeah. yeah. We want to have the same experience. If I have the ability, I want to be able to move around the part yeah. easily without, yeah, no, this is a beautiful setup. And it just makes everything way simpler. Show me, Dimitri, that this is our, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, again, I'm a welder, this is intimidating. I'm, yeah. I'm looking at it, I'm scared of computers. Yeah, so, do not be scared, all right. it's not so bad. So clearly we have the part that we just saw inside. Yes, absolutely. We've got it here, we can see all of our different weld joints yes. and configurations. So walk me through how we're gonna actually get yeah. this thing done. We just need first to select some of weld joints that we're going to weld. Please pick up one. Let's let's pick this 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 3F weld here. Yeah, okay. And we're going to be using the pulse MIG process, right? Yes. We also need to provide information such as work angle, travel angle, weld speed. Uh, what do you think about the weld speed? How many inches or centimeters per minute? Uh, <laughs> inches, centimeters. I I don't know. Like uh, that that fast. Uh, that's what hard. Let's do, measure that. Okay. Oh, we got a ruler here, yes, huh? We got a ruler. And okay. Then I'll take a. You got a stopwatch, I got the ruler. Yes, I get we'll it. figure out our IPMs right here, right? Absolutely, let's do that. Yeah, go. Ready? Yes. All right. Remember that it's vertical. Isn't it too fast for the vertical? Oh, wait, hold on. Yes. Well, I'm shaky. Okay. Oh, I'm, gl I'm glad the robot's doing this because I'm shaking. Yes, yes, it can do that also. Okay, okay. I'm at three. Three. I stopped okay. at three. Okay. Okay. okay we'll come. We're about this. to ca calculate it. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. So I can see the. I can see this. Is this representing the the gun, the torch? Yes, the gun. Yes, exactly. So we can adjust our work angle. Yeah. I say 45 degrees is the best work angle yeah. for a fillet weld, right? Yeah, it's a default. And once we input all these parameters, the only thing that we need to do is click one button. One button? Yes, one button. We click the weld, we set a few a few per, few yeah. things, and we just hit go? Yes, and yeah. we just... Yeah. It's mind-blowing, Dimitri, that's yeah. mind-blowing. Yeah, let's do that. So while the robot is scanning, we actually... So it's not doing any welding, right? It's not... It's not, yes. That little fancy thing on the top right there, it's going around and yeah, doing yeah. the 3D scan on the whole part? Yes, exactly. And even if we will uh, place some fixtures or clamps to hold the part, okay. uh, it will be able to It'll recognize the geometry what's not. and avoid the collisions, yeah. Okay, so, so if I put clamps all over it, it'll sense it and make sure to move out of the way of that yeah. so that it doesn't actually interfere. Yes, exactly. This is really cool. Yeah. I mean, this this definitely beats me having to get in there and bend over and get on my back all hurting and everything. Yeah, yeah. And, and you probably uh, can do some more fun welds during this robot's uh, right. welding, just like simple I can, fillets. I can kick back and watch something else work. I mean, yeah. been welding for a while and not. To, I like watching other people work because I don't... <laughs> welding's fun and everything, but it is yeah. nice to have a tool like this in, at my, my disposal. 
Yeah, absolutely. So the robot's uh, finished and what we uh, we can prepare for welding. Let's get PPE'd yes. up. Let's get in there and uh, watch a bead run. I love it, it's like a disco. Yeah. Yep, watch out. Watch out. That was nice and smooth, Dimitri. Nice and smooth. I like the sound of that pulse mig, it's like a party. <laughs> yeah. It beats me doing it, that welded really quick. Yeah. Got it done in a hurry. Yeah. Hey, Dimitri, really impressive stuff you guys got going on here at Abadji. Really cool products, really cool. It's fascinating what y'all are able to come up with, and I think it's really gonna help maybe even that welder shortage, just educating yeah. these, these end users and educating these new kids and everything coming up and not be scared of a robot, right? They're not yeah. taking our jobs, right? They're helping our jobs. Absolutely. That's what it's all about, yeah. right? Thanks for having me today, and I will be very happy to see more welders joining and to use our product. Right on. Hey, y'all be sure to go check out Abadji. Follow well.com on our platforms. Check out that Weld app that we've got going on there. Doctor's orders. <laughs>